I remember when I was very young, I used to watch Sprang Along. I used to watch cultural Sprang Along and I would imitate that from my mother. And I guess that was probably the, the very first inclination that I had some sort of talent because I would love to make my mother laugh. We didn't really grow up with much. And you know, I mean, sometimes I would remember I, I couldn't work, I was still going to school. The one thing I could always do was make her laugh. And I guess that is where it really started. Ironic enough, I never really enjoyed theater. Anymore. And it's ironic, my wife now encouraged me to come to a theater show. And that was our first date. I was more interested in her than I was in the play. I started really doing theater in church, you know, as a way of kind of getting the young people involved into something. Because at the time I was the, the president of the, the, the youth group and it was a real nice tool because every time we did theater the young people would come out there was a young man who used to sing and he used to act and he would come out every time we have productions and then at 17 years they put him to kneel down and they shot him in his head and that was the catalyst for me moving from just doing theater to doing community transformation and outreach using theater. The very first transformation to theater and technology camp that I had was in Hillview College. I went to Hillview College and the principal then, who has always been very generous to us, allowed us to use it there. And then what we did was we took a camp and we asked principals to send us your 20, I don't like to say bad behavior, 20, kids that if they're not in school, school is a lot easier to manage. And we had all of them in one camp and some of them was fighting each other and, and you know, was at war with each other. And here they find themselves now in one camp having to work, learn ballroom dancing, learn Indian dancing, learn African dancing, um, theater, and they had to do like a whole production afterwards. It was really, really good. Being on stage is not about reading lines, but about getting into your character. And that's what Stephen has taught me. If someone had told me that I was going to be on a stage acting, I would have said, mm, I don't think so, not me, probably somebody else. And performing arts has been very, very beneficial to me. He has been doing a very good job in using theatre and uh, stage and storytelling as a communication tool. We can reach people in a more direct way. And I think his work has been doing that, you know? What he's done on the stage and what he himself as a performer getting involved with his own production is very good too. Technology has always been a big part of my life. So I would tell these different stories to make these different points. Bullying, suicide, cutting, depression, tackling, all of those things. Um, and it's been done in animation. We have a very good animating team. With the internet, you could tell those same stories in a different way and reach a much larger audience. So we do a lot of content now for youth and children. We have kind of expanded so much more from theatre, but theatre would always be my first love, you know what I mean? And now we're in an age where, where it's perfect to tell all different types of stories and everybody could access it on one device in one place. And this is important because this content that's being created on the digital platform is for kids. So in terms of education and moral education, which is in line with what Stephen does. So I think the work that Stephen is doing right now with the digital platform is extremely important because it gives that local context for the local and the Caribbean children, but on a platform that they have easy access to, a platform that they are accustomed to. And it fills a gap that's there right now. There really isn't much of this content. So we decided to, to give our support to Export TT, to give our support because we realized that this is filling a gap there. What's being done is delivery of local styled moral education to children. Nobody should have to tell you not to stand up or ride on a turtle, especially if they lay an egg. If that makes sense to you, I want you to walk in Mokto and stand up on the first pregnant woman you see. Eh? That could ever make any sense? I have worked with Stephen since the inception of Stephen Edwards Productions. So that would have been from 2009 to present. It's youth rehabilitation, it's movies, it's animation, it's voice acting. So it's quite a lot that he does. The first performance I would have done with Stephen Edwards Productions would have been For Better or For Worse. And that is a play on marriage. It's actually a very entertaining play, but it's, it's on saving a marriage. And the testimonials you would have after that from audience members. You came to a 
theater production. You came to a play and this was instrumental in saving your marriage. That is beyond inspirational and motivation because you're not just having fun, you're not just having fulfillment, you're actually playing a role in somebody's life. Stephen, for me, I have known him for years and it is rare that you find genuinely good people who cares and it's, it's not just a conversation you would have with somebody who would say something nice. He is a, he's a caring person, he's hardworking, he's generous and he is brilliant. Stephen has an ability to identify someone's gift, talent, before it's even realized in them. Something he would see, something he would notice. And you may think, really, I could do that? And he would say yes. And he would never push in courage. The confidence that I would have gained through all the years, it's something I cannot, I cannot thank Stephen enough for it. Confidence isn't vanity. And that is something I would take with me for the rest of my life. The, the work he has done has encouraged a lot of young people to see theatre in a certain way and encourage even people looking on to see the value of using theatre and using stage to really teach as a communication tool, you know. And of course, I always support things that support storytelling because I'm a storyteller. So anything that really introduces storytelling and supports it, I, I'm, I'm really good support it myself because I think it's one of the great ways of reaching people, which especially children, not even children, big people, everybody loves a good story. So when Stephen and uh, his, his, his production team put on these things, I think they're very doing a very valuable job in preserving storytelling and also showing how important it is as a communication tool and hopefully that maybe other people will follow suit in other areas of, of our society. We can produce some of the best work worldwide and you know I mean that is what I'm trying to encourage in the younger generation.